hi beautiful and welcome back to my channel in today's video I got this unit from Ashley Mary hair and it came colored pre plucked and curl I literally installed this out the box like sometimes I say that and then I do a little pluck 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 but I did nothing this way except curl front that's it I, I yeah I really enjoyed these highlighted blonde units I think it's really a nice spin on a 613 so if you guys want to see how I got this look literally out the box stay tuned to keep on watching it and we can get on into it all I gotta say is Mwah! and you already know who it is Shout out to Ash and Mary here for sending this unit and sponsoring today's video. I'm very excited to get into my thoughts on this unit. I've always been my 100% honest thoughts on these units. So I'm very excited to get into this because this one came curled and colored and pre plucked like all at once. So that was all very exciting. Look how much parting space you get. It isn't fully 13 by 4, but it does have a very deep um, parting space. You can do a side part or like a half a half down for sure. And then they gave me like this nightgown thing and a uh, robe to go with it. That was sweet. They want to make sure I highlighted that I got these things. So I hope y'all get those as well. And then these are all what I got. Usually this will come standard, a wig cap, a headband, um, lashes, and an edge brush. And then last, I just want to show y'all this little Rockerwear like dress I got from this store. It looked like what like Beyonce wore in that Ring the Alarm video when she was dancing, but it was it was House of Darion when she had on House of Darion. But this like gives me that like that little tank dress tunic dress is really cute i wear it to bed stuff but anyway let's get into the unit um of course starting off with cutting the ear tabs make sure the wig fits to a t and it pretty much did when i put it on it it just fit so i love when wigs just fit it makes my job so much easier and your job too when you go to install it like it's always easier in that way so now that my ear tab is cut out i'm gonna go ahead and hot comb it back because like i said this is out the box i usually hot comb on a mannequin but like to emphasize the fact that this is out the box straight out the box let me hot comb it on my head and just get it to frame in the face and i like to just get this laid out so i can see what it's gonna look like and also this is kind of what it was looking like because this parking space on the side is so small i kind of saw that blonde track and i couldn't help but notice that because i did initially want to redo that hairstyle i did for my birthday with the um, tweezers in the front and the points on the back but because of that i was just like eh. but i did contemplate it a little bit more throughout the video if i was going to do that style but i didn't but i will do it for you guys very soon i'll definitely recreate my birthday hair because it was a very cute but of course going back to liquid gold i'm spreading it out with my finger and use my blow dryer on a warm setting i'm pretty sure yeah warm but not too long because you want to just get tacky and then go ahead and press that lace into it while it's still tacky and not all the way dry because it does dry up pretty fast and um be careful not to like get your hair in the liquid gold because it does get a little hard and it's hard to comb through when it gets hard so yeah take your time too like don't tug on the lace it's how you create ripples and just make sure that each section is thoroughly dry at this point it was fully dry so i went ahead and got my eyebrow razor and i'm going in zigzag motion as always and making sure that all that lace is just on and at this point i was pretty pleased and i was knowing that this one with my hair because y'all i don't have no wig, wig cap on like they gave it to me but i didn't choose to use it i'm using my roots i love pump it up pump it up the smell of pump it up I could write a dissertation about the smell of purple lip. It just it just brings back childhood memories of getting my hair done. So whenever I can incorporate pump it up, I do. It makes me feel good. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is me seeing if I was gonna do that point that half and half down again. But I was like, eh, I was gonna do side part because it's so much parting space for a side part. So I might as well do that. So I'm going in eyebrow razor, pump it up, and maybe pump it up wasn't the best to move my lace. I'm over here in real life thinking, oh my lace is so melted, so melted, and then on camera studio camera hd lights oh the lace was kind of clockable y'all i ain't gonna lie but in person it was given it was given in person not uh, in person you know you just gotta trust people when they say stuff like y'all trust me trust me in person <laughs> but i promise y'all in person the pump it up was given but i would probably go in with that even skin um lace milk i think it's the lace milk without the purple spray i'll probably use that instead with this but anyway i could have not curl any of it because it was already curled like it could have been but y'all know me i gotta touch something i can't just 
list that come out the box all the way because I'm not an out the box kind of girl. So I went ahead and got my tapered curl and iron. I'll have it linked down below. And I use a little wrap around motion flick of the wrist. And of course, I'll let that cool in my hand before I let it drop so the curls can set. Move on to the next curl. Once again, flick of the wrist, slow motion. I only did three curls on this whole head. Can you imagine having to curl your whole head? Like, it's so a lot. But this was so easy. Out the box curl. You could have not did that. Like if you were somebody who wants to be out the box on a girl, you could have not did this. But me, like I said, I'm not an out the box kind of girl. <laughs> so I curled it a little bit again for the wrist. Hold it, and then once I got done, I sprayed it with some some um, hairspray because I realized I didn't spray it at first. I just thought maybe because the hair was curled already, they already had took care of that, so I didn't think to do it. So I put on the outfit, put on my lip. Um, and then now I'm gonna get it flat to the head because like I had did the parting space earlier I Just mapped it out, but I didn't really like set it in stone, you know So now it's time to do that. And of course, this final touch is time Let's go ahead and make sure that back of the head is flat because y'all know I can't Do the bulky wig. It's not so this is me really feeling like in real life. Wow I said I literally said wow out loud and I smiled about it. That's how you know it was real <laughs> That was my genuine reaction. So when I'm looking at back at this footage and my lace is kind of visible, it was like really shocking to me as well. But y'all, I'm realized that Pumper that really did the job. But that ride or die, even lace melt is really the one. And I got that link down below too. So if you really want your lace melted in real life and on camera like this, like that's the one. Anyway, um, hairspraying, got my little sideburn edges out. And I'm just making sure everything is laid where I want it to lay. And I'm using my nails as a comb. Probably could have used a wide tooth comb instead. Because I think my hair kind of got frizzy after I did that. But I was feeling like I wanted to be done. So I was like, let's run the fingers today. <laughs> so I'm like, this was supposed to be an easy out the box thing. I'm doing too much already. Like, let's just run the fingers to the hair. But at this point, I'm like, I messed up. Because I should have used the comb. So I went ahead and saved myself. How you can save yourself if you ever do this. You already curled the hair, it's gonna bounce back to how it was. So spray a little hairspray and find your comb. Maybe because I couldn't find my comb, I just used my hands once again and used less finger motion. Does that make sense? I kind of smoothed it instead. Then I'm like, this needs a layer. I, I, I try really hard not to touch it, y'all. But I had to give a slight layer in the front. That's all I did. That's all I did, y'all. That's all I did. And then and this is what it looks, it's looking like after. <laughs> after I hit one more hot comb on the side. You know, I gotta hit my final touches, y'all. I think I'm done. I'm not done. I could have put on a bigger earring too, but you know, hindsight is 2020. This is the hair, and it's cute, y'all. I was trying to be quick and easy. I was trying to give beach waves on the go, like simplistic. You know, is that giving that? Is it giving beach wave? Like, I think it's giving. I think the little layer made the little bang part look good too. This is me feeling myself at this point, and I'm telling you, y'all. You see me. I don't know. Okay, this is the final look, y'all. I didn't expect this to be so cute. You know, I could have curled a little more pieces. I could have. But that's okay. Because the point was, I only had to curl with three pieces and I had a full head of hair. I like the color. The lace is very non-existent. And I usually put like a little concealer on my part, but I'm kind of feeling, I feel like if my hair was this color, I wouldn't really have like a fluorescent part. I really blushed up today. So let me get to cheesing. I look pretty, y'all. I, I like the color. Thank y'all so much for all the birthday wishes. It was so beautiful to come back to and see all the comments. Wish me happy birth month because I'm glad y'all was down with this being my birth month. So we celebrated and we living it up. Shout out to Ashton Mary for sending me this unit. I will see you in my next one. Bye, beautiful.